The next thing that we're going to do is create our contact page. So just go ahead and click contact. And you probably know what to do by now. So we're going to edit page and make this full width. So go to templates, full width page, press update, or maybe it says publish and go to view page and we can see that it's full width. Then we're going to want to go to page builder and add the title of our page, which is about, um, that probably won't be there. So it'll look like this and just drag in one column and go to row settings and make it full width. And we can make the content full width also, it doesn't really matter, or keep it at fixed. And now what we need to do is add in a photo. So we're gonna go background, photo, and select. And we're gonna go upload files and select files. We're gonna find the file that we wanna upload and press open. Then select photo. All right, once we do that, we're gonna make sure that it is, uh, at, because we can't see anything right now, we're going to make sure it is center top so we can see more of the my dad's head. All right, so once we do that, we're going to change the color overlay to the same thing that we had before. Again, you could get any of the codes here and just copy them and use them throughout your website. So we, we are using 262626. These are called hex codes. So that's fine. And then 10%, so it's just a little darker, so the text pops out a little more. After we do that, we can go to advanced and we can add padding to the top and bottom just to give it a little more space, 120 and 120, just to give it a little more space to the top and bottom. All right, then press save and go to add contact tent and uh, drag in a heading. Not here, not here, but right in the middle. And let's call this contact and let's make it 80 pixels tall so it's a little bigger and let's make it bold and the color white and alignment center i'm going a little faster because you guys have done this before all right and then press save that looks pretty good the next thing that we want to do is we have three pieces of information so we have our phone number our email address and our address and we want to add them all in on one row so let's add in three columns on the same row. So just click on add content and under row layouts, let's drag in three columns. Kind of wiggle it a little bit so it goes all the way to the bottom. And what we wanna do here, we want a little divider line. So a white little divider line in between all of these. And so what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and edit this column right here and go to column settings. And we're gonna add a border. So if you scroll all the way down, we can do a solid border and color. Let's make it white. And for the top, we're gonna to do zero, 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 and two pixels wide for the right one. Um, so what we can do is just type in zero and then click tab, zero, tab, zero, tab, two, not 23, two, and press save. And we can see a little white line right here that divides it. So let's do the same thing on this one. Let's do border solid and zero, 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 and two. Uh, color obviously needs to be set to white. All right, so now we have little dividers. They're very light, but it really helps the user, uh, you know, separate each piece of content. All right, once we do that, let's add in a headline. So um, let's just go to add content again and let's do heading and let's drag it into that first uh, column. So drag it right in there. And for this one, it's going to be uh, the phone number. So I'm just gonna type in the phone number. And for the font size, I'm going to make it 22 and the font weight, I'm going to make it light. So it's, you know, not very dark. And um, for the color, I want to make it a little lighter. I mean, we can make it whatever we want, but let's make it pretty light. And for the alignment, we want it to be center. And there is going to be no um, sub headline or anything like that. All right, so once we do that, we can press save. And then what we can do is just duplicate this. So hover over it and 
click on duplicate and uh, just move it over to the next one. And we'll edit this and we'll change this to our email address. All right, and we'll press save. And then we will do that again, just duplicate it. And we'll put in our address. All right, and press save. Okay, so now we have that. That is looking pretty darn good. The next thing that we want to do is add in two columns. On, on the left side, it's going to be a contact form. And on the right side, it's going to be a map. So a big map of our address. So what we can do is we can add content. And uh, we're just going to drag in two columns all the way at the bottom right here. And we're going to make this full width. So just click on it. And for the width, we're going to make it full. And for the content width, we're also going to make it full. And we're going to make the margin and padding zero. So just go zero, 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 all the way down. So zero, tab, zero, tab, zero, tab, zero. All right, that makes it no spacing on the sides. All right, then we're going to click Save. And now we're going to add in our map. So we can go ahead and press Add Content and go to Advanced Modules and drag in the map. Once we do that, we can put in our address. So we can put in um, Malibu. You can put in your whole address. I'm not going to put in my whole address now. And you, we can change the height. So, uh, And obviously, we can go to Advanced, and we can make it 0, 0, 0, 0. So it goes all the way to the edge over here. Okay, so once we do that, and we could change the zoom level, let's change it to uh, maybe 12. And we can save it. Okay, so that is looking pretty good. But where is our contact form? And by default, WordPress doesn't have doesn't come with a contact form that you could just fill out, we need something called a plugin, a plugin like we saw before extends the functionality of WordPress. And we can get a free contact form by just downloading a plugin. So what we can do now is press done and publish changes. And we need to go to and get a contact form. So let's go ahead and do that. So let's go to our dashboard. And let's go to plugins and add new. And we can search for plugins. This one's called contact form seven C O N T A C T F O R M the number seven, just search for that. And this has been downloaded more than a million times has great ratings, it is a great contact form. And it's free. So click install now. And activate plugin. Once we do that, we're going to see a new button over here that says contact. So just click on contact. And this is the short code or the code that we need to copy and put into our website in order to for the contact form to show up. So just Double click on it, right click and copy or control or command C if you're on a Mac or PC. And then uh, we can edit this contact form. And we're not going to get into editing all of it in this video. But what you want to make sure is if you click on mail, that your email address is right in here. So it goes to your email address. All right. So once we do that, we can uh, go back and visit our site and go to the contact page. We have that code copied already. Go to page builder. And before we uh, paste this in, let's change the background color of this whole thing to white. So background color, let's change it to pure white. Pure white. And that will give us a little separation of uh, between this one, which isn't pure white, and this one, which is. And it looks really cool, easy on the eyes, very nice. All right, so once we do that, then we want to drag in a regular text editor. So go to Add Content and go to Basic Modules and click Text Editor and just drag it into this uh, column. And now we can click on Text, not Visual, because we're pasting in code. So click on Text and just paste in that code. 
All right, once we do that, we can press save and our contact form should pop up like it did. And that is looking pretty good. So what we want to do now is go to uh, text editor settings and let's go to advanced and on the bottom margin, let's make it zero and press save. So it gives less space right here. And now what we want to do is we want the map to be just as long as uh, the contact form because we don't want all this space here. It's empty space and we'll look like amateurs. No, just kidding. Um, so just click on map settings and um, type in maybe, I don't know, you have to guess, 550 pixels maybe. Uh, and that's looking pretty good. Um, it looks like I'm one pixel off, if you could see that. So 551 maybe, which is perfect. And we don't have any um, space in between it. So if we click on save, we can see that our contact form has a little space at the top, a little space at the bottom is right in the middle of there. And our map is full width and press done and publish changes.